what are the games that you are eyeing that you really love coming up on Friday in Major League Baseball? Four games on the docket. I mean, you know what my answer is going to be. I love all of the games. I think they're all super interesting. Uh, I'm going to start with the first game, though, and Rays and Guardians. I think it's very interesting, Bieber and McClanahan. The Rays, like Ken said, were under 500 on the road. They were just so-so, but the Guardians were absolutely atrocious versus lefties this year. Bottom three in most statistical categories against lefties. And McClanahan was awesome all year outside of that little rough patch when he was dealing with a neck injury. Um, I actually like the Rays a lot. I like the Rays to win the AL at 11-1. to I like them to win this series. I just think their depth of pitching between McClanahan, they have Glass now to go game two, which is an insane one-two punch. Then with Springs and Rasmussen and to round it out too. I really like what the Rays have. They've been here before. Their manager, obviously they don't have the managing upper hand in this series, but for the most of the playoffs, they're going to have the managing upper hand. Kevin Cash is awesome. He's a manager of the year, coach of the year. So I really like the Rays in the series. I put a little bit on them to win the AL at 11-1 to because I think, as me and you discussed yesterday, Nick, I think the Yankees are fraudulent. So I think the Rays, if they win the series, they go to the ALCS. And then you're basically there and you have a shot. Um, the other game, we talked about it. If the Mets do this with DeGrom, they're so dumb. And I think they just lose the series if they do this with DeGrom. Like, I'm going to take oh, a shot. Well, just, just so people know what that means, do this means if they win game one, hold DeGrom for game three potentially and try to win game two with Bassett and hold DeGrom for the Dodger series. Right, and the Padres are going with Darvish in game one, which is kind of unexpected. I thought they were going to go with Musgrove, but I get it. Then you go Musgrove against Bassett if the Mets win game one. And then you have Snell versus DeGrom in game three. And the Mets had issues with lefties all year. And their best left-handed, their best hitter against lefties, Starling Marte, might miss the series with his finger injury. So that does not line up well for them. If they really are going to kick DeGrom to game three, I think there's a chance they lose the series. And it pains me to say it, but I have no idea what the Cardinals are doing. It's so bizarre. They're starting Katana in game one. I get it. Ground ball pitcher doesn't allow a lot of hard contact. Uh, Harper and Schwarber do not have good numbers against Quintana, but it's just real bizarre. Like if you're going to have Adam Wainwright going out there, throwing 86 mile an hour fastballs, you might have a bad time. So the Phillies, I think are going to be super alive. And I talked about this a little bit yesterday. I'm all in on the Mariners. I love the Mariners. I have all year. I'm holding a 50 to one on them for the world series from prior to the season. I love this team. I love their pitching. John Heyman told you a little bit about it. Their pitching depth is awesome, especially at the top. Gosman's bad at home. He's going in game two. Manoa's obviously awesome. But then you get to game three, and it's Ross Stripling versus Robbie Ray. I like Seattle's chances in that. I like them to win this series as well. I like a lot of these series to go three games, uh, mostly on the AL side. I like the Rays, Guardians, and the Blue Jays, Mariners to go three games. 